The triage is, is a, a critical part of mass casualty response. Those initial decisions of how urgent a patient is for medical care and what sort of medical care they need are life and death because if we get those wrong, then people won't get the care they need when they need it. We see an opportunity to build on advances in several technical disciplines, including robotics and sensors and artificial intelligence. All of these are core to the DARPA triage challenge and revolutionize the way this is done and deliver better tools to medics and first responders so they can do triage better and faster and ultimately save more lives. The vision that we have for the capabilities that are developed in the DARPA Triage Challenge has a, a couple of parts. First, imagine a large-scale mass casualty incident, thousands of people immediately injured, say an earthquake, and you have people who are buried under rubble and you have dust and it might be in the dark. This would be an incredibly difficult situation for the way we do triage today. There would only be a few responders on the scene initially and they would have to find the victims and assess them and figure out how to use the limited medical resources they have on hand. So our vision would look more like this. There are a few responders on the scene, but they're able to control a fleet of autonomous systems drones and robots on the ground. These are equipped with various types of sensors like camera and infrared and audio capabilities and radar. And these systems on their own are able to go out and work cooperatively to find the victims and quickly assess their injuries and relay that information back to the responders. So those few responders on the scene would know where the casualties are and they would be able to prioritize their actions and provide the life-saving care before it's too late. The other part gets to the need we have to be able to anticipate medical needs better. Imagine that that initial stage of triage has happened and responders have identified victims and now they're providing care and they're monitoring them. But there are still only a few medical people on the scene. So we can imagine that they would place wearable sensors on all of these casualties, and these sensors would autonomously monitor the victim's physiology and would alert the medic when it picks up on physiological features that indicate that that person is going to need medical care in the next few minutes or hours. And so then the responders could plan for that. If they had the ability to evacuate that person to a higher level of medical care, they could do that. So in the DARPA Triage Challenge, we're developing the algorithms that ultimately could be used to detect those anticipatory physiological features. We haven't seen technology innovation in triage in a long time, and we see a real opportunity here to develop revolutionary new tools that will help save lives.